Okay, I thought I'd come out here today, May 2nd, and show you the grain bin pad. I need one of those steady cam things to uh, keep it from bouncing around. But they're all done with the pad, except for the final uh, grading around the actual concrete to foundation of the bin. But they've got it all leveled out. You can sort of see the big built up area with the uh, topsoil around the outside. It might be eight feet from bottom to top. Um, and over here on this corner is where the new transformer is going to be. And the transformer will be powered and they'll dig all along the property line over to that pole and then uh, bring the electric over here. There is a culvert right there that goes underneath this access road and the access road continues off to the neighbor's property which doesn't have a road on it so this is a, uh, a legal easement for them and I end up using it as my road. I don't know how many truckloads they brought in here, 50? I kind of shudder to think what the bill is going to be on that but um, they've left a little bit here not built up, but the um, the bin is going to go, you can see this raised area here in the center, there'll be a ring that's about, it's two feet wide, you can see here, it's sprayed out with spray paint, so the bin will be up, the concrete will be up two or three feet here. They'll, they'll form up the outside of it and then the pad in the center I think is eight inches thick so it's thinner thinner concrete in the center of the bin and then uh, the unloading auger will be sort of right where I'm standing now and trucks will pull in forward here and then do a three-point turn and back in this way right next to the unloading auger in the in the um, on this grain bin and then they can uh, load up. I've left room, I've got enough room for a slightly smaller bin on this part of the pad over in here, say an 18 or 21 foot diameter as opposed to the uh, 30, I think these are 34 foot. The ones going is 34 foot and then there's room as well over here for another large bin, the same size as the one being built. So they've got the grade. They'll come back in after the concrete's poured and fill in this whole area around here to final grade. Um, you can see the final grade over here relative to the field, I'm a few inches higher. There's still a little bit of water over there. I don't know if they're able to do anything with that but generally speaking it, it, it rained about an inch in the last couple days um, but overall I'm really happy with with how it's turned out so far they did a great job um, S and F or S and K uh, construction are excavating out of Amory Wisconsin so Scott Lee is the man's name and uh, him and his group slick job so you can see here and the slope goes down they got it all to kind of work together um, and I just talked to the bin constructor the bin is man been manufactured by Sukup it's ready to go but the installer is now telling me that um, he won't be out here for two to three weeks to pour the concrete and I thought they were gonna pour the concrete well, I thought this whole excavation, this whole pad building was holding them up, but it turns out he's having problems of his own. So it's going to be two to three weeks before they can pour the concrete. Then he tells me, well, maybe by the end of June they'll put the bin up, So which is almost two months after when they said they were. Oh, another detail. That's the outlet for the uh, culvert that goes underneath the road. But today was the first day Dad came up here. We've got tractor one tractor out move some implements out here got this tractor out uh, just pulling things out to get ready to uh,
to drill the peas that are going in ahead of the Kernza. But I, I wanted to come out here and kind of show the pad and you know it's a big or not an ordeal but a big uh, big project um, but it's looking real good and um, that's what I have to say about that. I hope you all doing well. We'll uh, see you on the next one. Bye.